what's up YouTube so now that my car is finally done I can jump onto this big job that's been sitting here uh, cars been here for probably about a week and uh, it's come time I have to clean up the garage and get it to the point where I'm gonna have stuff kind of everywhere doing this thing so I got to have the, the garage cleaned up and organized before I start but let's go out and see the car so this is uh, this is my buddy Tyler's I believe it's a 2013, could be a 2012 STI, I'm sure he'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the car's in really nice shape, really clean body on it. He's got the Volkrays uh, T37s on it, just a gorgeous wheel, probably my favorite wheel. He's always been kind of planning for bigger power, and now the, kind of, the car's run into a bit of an issue, and it needs, uh, it needs some work done to it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is basically kind of set up my bench and we're going to start pulling in parts and going through the parts and why they're going on and what led him to order the parts that he did and uh, basically start the, the series of this build and we got some really nice goodies to put on it. So when I said this STI build's going to be big, I mean it's going to be big. Uh, there's a lot of really nice parts here, um, like really nice parts. Uh, stuff that I'm not going to be buying anytime soon, um, but we'll we'll just go we'll start going through them and, and and you know I'll show them as we go and I'll try and explain a little bit about them uh, to the best that I can. I mean I know what everything is and where everything's going and why it's being installed. Getting to the tuning part of this is is kind of out of my hands. Uh, you know even to do like just a base map tune or a road tune. That's something that I, I, I'm going to have an issue doing, so unless I can get some help doing it, because uh, I think uh, it can be done with the access port using uh, using one of the programs that you can put on your PC to, to write maps, or at least modify the map. I'm not quite sure, but uh, the car is going to obviously need to be uh, dyno tuned at some point to make big power. Uh, he's looking to get like... 450 wheel horsepower to this thing so or more and it's probably gonna make more uh, so we'll just start hammering through the parts and uh, I'll show you what basically what's here and what's going on in the car so as you already might have noticed uh, there is two South Bend clutch boxes here um, this one here is actually a lightning flywheel to get the pilot bearing in there and then this is the clutch set I have no idea what the clamping force of, of this set is but it's uh, it's segmented on one side so obviously a full complete clutch set like I said I, I really don't know what the clamping load of, of this set is uh, I, I could assume it's like five six hundred wheel torque something like that it's hard to say, I, I, re I really don't know. Um, so moving along, we get into more of the, like, the real performance stuff. And I might as well just go ahead and pull this guy out of his bag and give the camera a good look. So I don't really think I need to take it out of this second bag, but I mean, you can get a general idea. This is a, a Blausch Dominator uh, 3.5 XTR. So this is a very, very big turbo. Um, it's the kind of the go-to for Subaru guys because they just bolt right on, produce a ton of power. Um, even the smaller ones will produce uh, quite substantial numbers. So I mean, this might be a tiny bit laggy depending on how it's tuned, but when the power comes on, it's gonna be go, go, go. So to go along with the uh, Blausch Dominator, we got a Grim Speed up pipe. Um, very nice, heavy piece. Very thick flanges. Uh, I just noticed on the inside of there, there's some weld that they should have ground off. And that's what I'll end up doing. But yeah, really nice piece. Otherwise, a little fleck right there. I should get to. But yeah, definitely a really nice piece, uh, really nice coating on it, and uh, really heavy, give a lot of support. Uh, there's 
some little Subaru thing in here. I don't. It, it looks like a window trim or, or, the, or the side mirror cover or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. Uh, moving on. There is a Turbo Smart external wastegate. Uh, let's see what size it is. It's a 40 mil. Good choice. And this is a, I guess it's a cob piece, but that'll be the uh, the downpipe for the actual wastegate. So we're going complete external with this wastegate, and it's going to make some noise. And it looks like you get a just a turbo gasket set, braided line, uh, the control fitting, and uh, a couple gaskets. Uh, here comes the goods. So these are. Some Cobb 1050cc fuel injectors with the adapter harnesses. Um, I'm not so sure I'll be putting these in yet. It's something that we're going to have to talk about and discuss just because of tuning reasons. Uh, we kind of want want this car to be able to start and run, and uh, unless I can get some type of safe base map put into the car. Uh, I'll, I'll resist putting these in myself. A uh, set of uh, Denso plugs. Moving on a little bit further, we get into our gauges. Obviously we want a fuel pump, so there's a, a th 320 AEM fuel pump there. And uh, a wide, bit, wide band gauge set um, from Pro Sport. And two more Pro Sport gauges. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure what they're going to be for because this is a single gauge um, so I'm expecting I think he already has boost gate yeah Remember, it might be he might have oil temp or water temp here something like that and then uh, so th we're basically looking at a giant turbo upgrade here um, but there's you know you can't just just can't put this stuff on so you need more stuff right so bam uh, so we got a bunch more items here that it's going to be a big build this is just more of the parts going on uh, so we'll get into these big boxes first this is a uh, I mean you want to make big power you've got to get rid of the top mount and convert to a front mount so that's a completely that's good looking intercooler that's a black parent intercooler and the bottom box is all uh, all the pipes and couplers, which I would assume are black as well. I'm not really sure because I haven't opened that box, but uh, it, it should fit in there really nice. Very little modification to get those on, I think. Um, so into the, some of the smaller stuff. Inlet hose, I guess. Yeah, turbo inlet hose. Uh, the air filter, Cobb fil air filter. A Cusco uh, oil catch can. Uh, we got two two rolls of uh, black heat wrap for the exhaust. Uh, so I'm going to be doing. I'm pretty sure the entire the header, the up pipe, the down pipe, and uh, we got some of that flame proof ceramic paint for the exhaust. Um, box here is the TGD deletes yeah those are really cool so the TGV deletes they usually uh, they take out the tumbler valve that's that's usually in there and it sweeps like that and a lot of guys actually I've actually done it before you you just get a set with the shaft pulled out and the butterfly valves taken out of there and then you just kind of JB weld epoxy them shut and you can do the same thing but these are the actual deletes for them um, which just makes it a, a really nice clean look and then this box here is actually uh, the phenolic spacers so these are uh, they definitely look yeah, they're the 8mm phenolic spacers, Grim Speed, 
Um, just gives you a little bit of extra room under the intake manifold and uh, it doesn't it doesn't allow a lot of heat transfer up into the intake manifold from the, from the block or from the cylinder heads I should say. So then we're going to do the same uh, battery, battery relocate um, and he's got the smaller box. This is the other size box that I actually have that he got for me. Uh, and he's got more than more than ample enough uh, cable here to do it. I think this is quite big stuff too. This is like two gauge, I think. And then this box back here is uh, the gauge pods. It's a A pillar, A pillar set of gauge pods. Uh, three pod for the gauges that are we're over on the bench because, boom. You can't do that stuff without doing this stuff. So you go and get a big performance block and the parts associated with it. So yeah, we got a few more parts to go through. And uh, did I mention this was gonna be a big build? Cause this is gonna be a big build. Um, we'll obviously go to the block first. So this is Toge Tuning's uh, engine number 17. Um, so this is an IAG stage three closed deck block. Now if you're unfamiliar with this block, uh, very, very, very beautiful block. Uh, as you can see, it's complete closed deck all the way around. So there you can see the, you get some brand new pistons obviously. A beautiful set of rods. I'm, I'm not quite, I can't remember exactly what crank they put in this thing, but um, it, it, it looks lightweight to me. I mean, that's got a razor edge on that. You can tell it's been machined right down. Um, so, I mean, just absolutely gorgeous block, made, for, built for making big power. Um, something I'm just absolutely privileged to be working on, to be honest with you. When you've got that kind of quality, uh, expensive block, you, you go for the top quality gaskets. So uh, some Cosworth multi-layered steel, 1.1 millimeter STI gaskets. Um, we'll be putting on a Killer Bee oil pan. Let's get this guy out. So you can see uh, quite a bit of extra room. It's got all the proper baffling inside and the uh, extended pickup so that uh, you don't run or dry. Pieces to go with the block, there's a rear main seal, uh, some wrist pin covers, uh, looks like the, uh, the top plugs for the oil galleries, probably one of them is an oil feed hopefully, maybe they're for something else. And uh, a magnetic drain plug, I can't remember where that's going, but maybe the oil pan possibly. There's a quick release for the oil drain, which I don't really like these, but uh, uh, this is Japan made, so. And then actually we're going to be stepping up the head studs. Uh, so these are IAG half inch head studs. They're a millimeter larger than the stock. ARP stud that you would install uh, or the stock head bolt so the cylinder heads actually need to be drilled open one more millimeter to have these guys pass through I'm assuming they'll pass through the head gaskets but I'm not quite sure yet uh, a Cosworth timing belt we won't dig that out of its box yet I like to keep those nice and clean so yeah these two boxes here we got some very, very solid mounts. So these are the Beat Rush engine mounts. I mean, I can't even dig my fingernail into that thing. Those are uh, pretty much solid mount and uh, a parent transmission mount, which is uh, the same type of deal. Actually, it's got a little bit more of a pliable bushing in it, but it's definitely more of a solid mount. And so that's everything. I guarantee no more surprises. Uh, that is all the parts that will be going onto this car.
uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big job it's something I obviously do in my spare time and just to bring in the car and start you know, pull the whole engine out and start doing a you know short block swap along with all the other stuff I mean there's gauges the intercooler um, a lot of custom pieces to do so but I'll, I'll shoot to do the engine first and just so I can kind of keep things keep things in my garage reasonably organized I don't want to have everything spewed out and doing it all at once and trying to get this thing done I just know what I need to do and I'll, sh I'll start with the engine first because uh, I'd rather have that all bolted together in the car than sitting around in here so yeah other than all that I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers right now it's like 491 so it's just it's right around the corner um, I appreciate everyone that hit that subscribe button watch my videos regularly um, there will be a 500 subscriber video I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna put in yet but I'll make it a little bit interesting um, something to show my little bit of appreciation for uh, people watching my stuff and uh, we'll just kind of keep the ball rolling and whatever comes comes this build is obviously something that might draw in some new people that you know they've got a WRX or STI that they're planning to build and they, they kind of want to see the breakdown of it or whatever and then I'm ready to I'm ready to kind of drop coin on on my own build because there's there's an engine I've been watching and uh, it's got it's got relatively good mi low mileage on it and I just don't want someone else getting their hands on it so I may end up uh, I may end up putting the money down on that but I don't really have a place to keep it either uh, so I may end up keeping it at the shop in the meantime uh, so that's just stuff that's been going on in my head uh, because I've got to I've got to continually think of my own stuff while I'm doing this one because it's right after uh, the 240SX will be coming back in here and uh, it'll be getting its own heart transplant so yeah if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for me leave your questions and comments further down below and I'll see you in the next one